Welcome to Agar, the Freezing Flames. As far as our opening hand goes, we've got three lands, and... I mean, we've got our creature base, but the... Do we want to be aggressive on this? Yeah, we can keep on this one. There's no reason to ship this back. We've got two blue sources. We've got a red source. This is right on the cusp of um, just taking an, a mulligan to be aggressive. But um, I, I think we can make this work. So um, we're pretty far away from Mystic Sanctuary. So it's going to lead off with Mystic Sanctuary and then anything else pass the turn over to our opponent. But yes, welcome to Agar, the Freezing Flame. Very on brand uh, for this Texas weather. And we'll talk about that here in a second. So um, we're playing Agar, the Freezing Flame. Whatever creature, or, um, actually we'll cover that in a sec. Let's get our land drop going for the turn. Wind Rider Wizard, okay. Um, it's going to lead off with uh, Island. I think that'll work out. And then anything else? Nothing for two. Kick it back over there. Uh, whenever a creature or planeswalker an opponent controls is dealt excess damage. If a giant, wizard, or a spell you control dealt that uh, dealt damage to it this turn, draw a card. Playing gets Arkelos, Lagoon Mystic, the Turtle Meister, Master of Zombies. Yeah, if you haven't seen Arkelos, uh, my zombie build, a lot of fun. <laughs> Check it out. And uh, just type in Arkelos Jolt and you'll be able to find it. Um, we're drawing into all of our creatures. There we are. They, they want to have some fun. Um, let's lead off with Mountain. And then I think at this point, what we'll probably end up going for is just Agar. I kind of like that. Just get Agar on the battlefield, see what's kind of kicking. We can start swinging in. And then uh, anything else, pass it back over there. Playing gets Arkelos, Lagoon Mystic. Um, as long as Arkelos is tapped, other permanents enter the battlefield tapped. Then as long as Arkelos is untapped, other permanents enter the battlefield untapped. There we go. So we did cover, sorry, our opponent uh, went into the tank for a second, trying to let Agar resolve, so I'm just going to pause real quick. Uh, but anyway, we covered both commanders. So give a quick shout out to our sponsors, TCG Player. If you go to bit.ly slash joltmtg, that's going to apply my affiliate link. So next time you're looking for some cards, um, please consider using that. It costs you nothing, and it helps support the channel at the same time. And feeds Carnage Gladiator. He costs a lot. Also, let's give a quick shout out to MTGO Traders. If, you go to, uh, if you're looking to play the brand new set online, um, they've got you covered. They have most of the brand new cards in stock. Um, also, so let's give a quick shout out to, oh, that's a wasteland. All right. Let's give a quick shout out to inkgaming.com slash jolt. That's going to get you 10% off of your gaming accessories. No propane accessories, at least not yet. Until I can attend the board meeting. And last but not least, I started a Patreon. So if you'd like to directly, there we go. Look at that. Mana Crypt. If you'd like to directly support cool content like this, there's a link down the description below. Uh, but if you're keeping score at home, it is officially free time. So I'm um, going to lead off with Mana Crypt. Yeah, so unfortunately we are cut off on double blue. So let's lead off with Mana Crypt. Um, we've got a couple different options that we can go for. Um, we've got Wind Rider. I think what we're probably going to end up going for is going to be Wind Rider, simply just because once we get Wind Rider down, it's going to have Force of Will on Mana Crypt. All right, Arkelos is bringing the heat today. Let's go and swing in with three. <laughs> uh, let's go and swing. It's like a turtle bite. Just going for it. So we're going to swing it for three and uh, drop them down to 26. See if they offer up any blocks and then anything else. Uh, we will pass the turn. Yeah, there's nothing else we can do for two. So we're just going to pass the turn over there. So, uh, but yeah, it's officially free time. Let's have some fun. Now, what are we doing with uh, Agar, Freezing Flame? Um, I originally built this and also if you didn't know, I'm from Texas. Yeah, before we jump into deck stuff, um, we had the winter storm here in Texas and boy, was that not fun. We're not used to that kind of weather, especially for, over the course of a week. Um, but my family, everybody's okay. We're all safe. We only lost power for one day. Um, and really with that one day, that was just, Loretta is a year in almost three months. And so she's just at that age where she has physical activities that she wants to do. She wants to watch her super simple cartoon songs, which have been burned into my head. And so, ooh, there we go. Draw into a, uh, yeah, that'll work out. So let's go for uh, Chaser. And we're just, Yes, Kiki. That was my production assistant trying to get into my lap. There we go. All right, now let's finish tapping down for Kaza. And we're just going to try to start racing our opponent. I think that'll work out. So let's get both of these down. Let's see if they have another counterspell option. They only have one blue option for mana. So let's go and swing in. Um, that's going to be four in the air. And actually with Kaza, that really does help us out with that reduced cost. So uh, swinging across for four. In the land of 1-1 uh, one, one mana dorks, uh, Four power is going to be king, so hopefully we can get something done with that. Anything else past the turn. Uh, but yeah, so we were all okay. We lost power for one day. Went out at like 4 o'clock in the morning, and uh, it didn't come back on until basically almost midnight. And having a child like that, it is it was just a very taxing day 
for us at the house, just simply because we can't explain to her. She's at that age to where she's like, why is it so cold in the house? She can't communicate that to us, but she knows it. She's wearing clothes that she normally doesn't wear. And so all I did was I just got a fire going. Um, at five o'clock in the morning, we kept a, we have a fireplace in the living room, and I just kept a fire burning all day. So it's kind of like Inferno Titan. Felt pretty cool. All right, so we've got three total mana. We can't go for Windrider Wizard. Um, we do have access to uh, Bloodwater Entity if we want to go for that, which does give us prowess. So let's let's get this going. Let's go and swing across for four. We, yeah, we're not really we have no instant or sorceries we want to cast. So let's go and swing in for four. Okay, so our opponent's a friend of the channel. So hey, howdy, partner. Uh, let's go and swing across for four. <clears throat> and that's gonna drop them down to uh, drop them down to eighteen. And then I think. I feel like they probably would have gone for a board wipe if they had a board wipe last turn. So so let's do this. Let's get a few more options on the battlefield. We're going to go for Blood Water Entity. We're not going to be able to get that to instant or sorcery on top of our library, but at least at this point we can get an extra creature down that's going to get some sort of bonus from casting an instant or sorcery if we draw into something like that next turn. They do only have three cards in the hand, so um, anything else past the turn back over there. Uh, but yeah, that, that was the hardest part of that day. Like, if it was just my wife and I with our cat and dog, um, we would have been fine. We would have just gotten into our sleeping bags and stayed bundled up and had fun. But um, with a baby, it was really hard to, ex you know, you can't explain to her why it's so cold, why we don't have power. And just having, you know, especially at that age, having her entire daily you know, nap schedule, entertainment schedule, just turned upside down. Um, that was, uh, it was pretty rough. But anyway, power came back on and we never lost it after that. So that was a very good feeling. The one thing that was always a bummer is with Texas electrical grid, um, you know, I, we're independent, you know, tech, that's always Texas. Basically the row of houses on that day, um, they all had electricity and our row of houses didn't. And that was, that was a huge mental hurdle is walking outside and seeing your... Ah, oh, there we go. Hit a second blue source. All right. So let's get Island on the battlefield. At this point right now, we're going to be leaving up Disallow. Uh, we're going to be able to race on this one. So um, let's go ahead and swing in. We got the entire crew. Yeah, I kind of like this. So we're going to swing across with the entire crew. Well, actually, hold up. So they did... So we can swing in with flying options. It's going to be 2-2, two, two, and then we can just hold back Agar. Yeah, I kind of like that. All right, so we're going to swing across for three. three. That's going to drop them into 14. And if they do find some sort of payoff spell, at least we're going to be able to cash in a disallow. So there we go. Swing and drop them down to 14. And then uh, anything else past the turn. Now, if we don't find an option for disallow next turn, probably going to drop in Master of Winds. That way we can uh, hopefully get, you know, get that power and toughness switched. Uh, but yeah, so the row of houses behind us, um, they had electricity all day. <laughs> And so that was that was really rough just seeing that. But anyway, we got it back and we've been safe ever since. And I never had any water problems, at least in the house. And so very thankful for all of that. I know a lot of people had it a lot worse. Um, Get Rock Monster. I think a disallow is going to be perfect on that. So let's go blue, blue, tap down for red. It's going to be a prowess trigger for blood water and stop the Get Rog monster. There we go. Yeah, I got to stop him. We have a lot of respect for Get Rog, uh, Get Rog monster. Uh, but yeah, we're all safe. So that, that's a good feeling. It was just a, it was a long day. When you don't have electricity and it's cold outside, especially in Texas, you're not used to it. Man, that was, uh, that was something else. But anyway, with Agar, let's talk about Agar. Let's have some fun. Um, I think what we will end up doing is just blocking on... Arkelos the turtle? Yeah, I mean, because this is just a value swing. All right, there we go. So we're going to block for three. Um, basically, just two two commanders just trading punches in the gut. And then uh, anything else, kick it back over there. Uh, but yeah, as far as Agar goes, I did try to build this uh, giant tribal. But man, that is... That's asking a lot. It is. <laughs> All right, so we do have impulse, and our opponent is tapped out. So if we impulse into a land drop, we dropped in Windrider Wizard. So we can tap down Kaza immediately just to get a nice reduced cost because we're going to have two Wizards. That's going to make impulse only cost one. So if we do this, let's go for this. Let's go Windrider Wizard. That way we're still kind of progressing our board state. 
So we're going to get Windrider Wizard, uh, uh, Wizard on the battlefield. Let's tap down Kaza, which is going to be two different... Um, we're going to get the reduced cost. There we go. I think I did this right. This is my first time going for... Yes, there we go. All right. And then we're going to go Impulse. So that's still going to give us the Prowse trigger. That's also going to give us the uh, Windrider Wizard trigger too, which we definitely want to hit. So, yes. Um, draw a card. We will definitely get rid of... I think we'll get rid of Jory. Yeah, that'll work out. So we're going to get the Prowse trigger going for Blood Water. And then we're going to look at the top four cards of our library. We did hit a land drop, which is a very nice thing to see. Um, Galvanic Blast. We we're really far away from Galvanic Blast. But Adelie's... Yeah, I think that's a good option. Let's do that. So let's go Adelie's. That's going to go into our hand, put the rest on the bottom in any order. Um, let's make the land drop for the turn. Since we're sitting on a lot of blue... Yeah, we'll make sure we're clicking on the right one. We're just going to play River Glide. There we go. And then anything else, we're going to go and swing in for three across the way. So let's go ahead and push in. I guess if we wanted to, just go and swing in with Agar too. Why not? Yeah, swing in with Agar, swing in with Blood Water. Uh, come across for six. It's going to drop down to seven if they don't offer up any blocks. There we go. And then uh, anything else, pass it back over there. Uh, but yeah, so I did try to make this a giant tribal. Um, if you're going to build Agar Giant Tribal, you really need to focus in on having a lot of mana rocks. Um, as I was looking at, you know, the converted mana cost curve of all the Giant Tribal stuff that we're trying to do, you know, the deck just didn't really start until you're able to cast, you know, stuff that costs four, that costs five, that costs six. And then you're having multiple copies across that converted mana cost spread. And so it was just, uh, it was a lot of mana. And so... You know, if you think about Agar, you're just trying to get the bonus from one of the things, whether it's a giant wizard or a spell. Um, wizards and spells really help you out because really you're trying to cast a lot of your wizards between, you know, turn one and turn four. And so there your game plan. You can establish some of this just early on and not necessarily, you know, kind of cut yourself short on getting some of these spells out there. So one day we might see a giant tribal build of Agar, but right now we're just kind of going for this uh, just value play. Grabbing all of the uh, the draft all stars, the is it draft all stars, and that really does work out. You know, we did kind of get off to a wasteland style start, and they did go for mana crib. You can see where this is a you know, pretty functioning deck. Ooh. Okay, so let's drop. So they've got Entomb, which we're probably looking at Life from the Loam. So let's do this. Let's just dump Entomb down at the bottom, and we're okay if they have the. I mean. I don't know what else they have in the hand. I feel like Factor Fiction is just digging for something. And then Farseek is the same thing as giving them all these extra lands. So let's just click OK. So that way, if they do want to go for Entomb on Life from the Loam, they're not going to be able to go for that land drop. Excuse me, not going to be able to cast it. Well, excuse me, they do have Urborg out there. So if they want to go for the Life from the Loam line of gameplay, they're going to have to drop in Entomb. All right, so they grab the rest of the land, so we can survive off of that. And yeah, that's just a heavy hand of land so hopefully we can close it out by next turn because i don't know what else they could be doing but um we got a pretty good board state we've got uh, flying in the air we got two that's going to be four and um, that's going to be five in the air and if we just run into any sort of instant or sorcery we're going to get that bonus we're going to have adelie's coming down that's going to have haste i'm um, getting that plus one plus one giving uh Two different bonuses to our wizards, so or excuse me, all three of our wizards. Um, so that might give us the option to swing in. Now, if they do tap down Archelos, that will have Adelie's come into play tapped. But at least we're going to be able to untap all of our creatures and assemble some sort of uh, a value board state. So let's see what that's going to do. It's going to be Farseek. If they're going for Farseek, I kind of like this. That means they probably don't have much action. Oh, okay. Our very heads up play by our opponent. Um, they went for Farseek and then they used Swan Song to get a bird on the battlefield. So I, I, I like that. That's very creative. Good play by our opponents. So let's see what we draw into for the turn. Really looking for an instant or sorcery. Um, yeah, we like that. There's no way to get down Arkelos to come into play tapped, and we've got just enough mana to go for both of this. Yeah, let's go. We've got double haste options. Let's go Adelie's. It's going to be one, two, three. And make sure that we do leave up just enough for Lightning Stormkin. And then we can draw and discard a card. Yeah, uh, let's go for that. So we're going to drop Dawson of Perfection for sure. Yes, we will definitely do that ability. Uh, drop in Dawson. Let's go Adelise. Let's drop in Stormkin. And we do have Masswood of Nexus just for a scenario like this. Because some of our other stuff, like this is an Elemental Wizard, so we're still going to get that bonus. Um, yes, we'll definitely use that ability. Delay. 
which is nice, but we don't have the mana. So let's drop next wood, uh, mass wood nexus. Let's get lightning storm kin down on the battlefield. Ah, oh, look at this. And everything else is flying in the air, so we should be able to get it. It's going to be two, four, six. It's going to be eight. Um, that's going to be nine. They only have one flying blocker, so it looks like we're going to get it on this one. We'll take it. We'll see what they've got. But at this point, uh, we're a pretty happy camper with this. So we're going to swing across. Uh, we've got nine coming across, and they have one Frankie the Bird token out there to stop what's happening. So we'll see what they can do. Uh, but yeah, with Maskwood Nexus, we do have it in here because there are some times where, you know, with like Bloodwater Entity, um, this is not a wizard. So we can actually just drop in Maskwood Nexus, give all of, uh, give everybody on the battlefield that wizard tribal effect. Awesome. Drop our opponent down to negative three. Um, good game to our opponent. Um, I'm sure they'll be happy to see this. And uh, it's always fun to see a kind of lands build of Arkelos. I went kind of zombie control, but you can definitely see where our opponent, if we didn't have that disallow to stop get rog. Um, this is an entirely different game, but uh, thankfully we did. So we're able to stop that and just kind of go for the draft value threat. Just drop a bunch of flyers out there. Um, so you can see where if we have Wind Rider on the battlefield, um, we get that filtering effect. We get Maskwood on the battlefield. That's going to turn some of these other creatures into wizards. As Adelise is going to give them that nice little bonus. And so it just really kind of keeps your options open with Agar. And you can definitely go Giant Tribal, but if you're going to go Giant Tribal with Agar, you almost need to run a ton of mana rocks and uh, almost kind of capitalize on something like Epic Experiment, where you're really going to be able to tap down for a bunch of fun stuff. But I'm really liking where this build is going. And uh, anyways, enjoy the video. Hey, like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.